amazing Lord of the Rings actors like Viggo Mortensen and even Elijah Wood have voiced their thoughts on Amazon's upcoming series, The Rings of Power, and fans have also been extremely critical of this series so far. Every detail has been scrutinized, every interview picked apart, and there's a lot of problems already, and it doesn't even release for a few more months. Hearing about how they're making a show about the Second Age is exciting, don't get me wrong, but as more details have released, the less excited people have become. And an interview has resurfaced where Elijah Wood called Amazon out for calling the Rings of Power Lord of the Rings, saying it's extremely misleading and just bizarre. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube members ships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Looper article. It says how Elijah Wood really felt about the Rings of Power before it had a title. The upcoming Amazon Prime video series, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, has all the makings of one of the defining television events of the year. I know that there are still a lot of people who are very excited for this, and if you're excited for this, that's awesome. I really hope that it turns out to be amazing. Unfortunately for someone like me, I'm very skeptical at this point. I've read all of the interviews. Reviews, I've watched the teasers. I'm just not feeling very impressed. But it says, and we're not just talking about its much publicized standing as the record-breaking most expensive TV series of all time, enticing as that factor may be. What really makes The Rings of Power so momentous, simply put, is that it's a return to the expansive, overpowering landscape that is the imagination of J.R.R. Tolkien and a section of it we have not yet seen visualized on screen for that matter. Developed by J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay, The Rings of Power will revisit a point in Tolkien's dense Middle-Earth timeline thousands of years removed from the events famously depicted in Peter Jackson's beloved The Lord of the Rings trilogy and Peter Jackson's less beloved The Hobbit trilogy. The historical episodes that set the stage for the adventures of Frodo, Gandalf, Aragorn, um, and which the 2001 film The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, handsomely summarized in one of the most famous prologues in movie history will now be given full-time attention. The forging of the rings, the rise of the dreadful Sauron, the last stand of the elves and men against Sauron's dark forces. Incidentally, this temporal distance informed a surprising opinion voiced by Elijah Wood, who played Frodo in the rings films, back before the Prime Video series got an official title. Now, over the past couple of weeks, I've also talked about how other Lord of the Rings actors have come out and made statements on the Rings of Power like Viggo Mortensen, and I am going to reference this article after the Looper one, but it says Elijah Wood once argued the series shouldn't be just called The Lord of the Rings. For months before the title of the uber-expensive Prime Video Fantasy series was confirmed to be The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, it was generally referred to by its tentative working title of The Lord of the Rings. In fact, back in 2021, in an interview with Empire, Elijah Wood sounded off about the prospect of a show with that title, covering different subject matter from Tolkien's proper Lord of the Rings novel and its corresponding film adaptations. A lot of people have said this while, yes, we see characters who were in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and we also are seeing things like the forging of the rings, which are so important. Uh, a lot of people don't think that it should be called the Lord of the Rings. Of course, they're calling it that to get people interested in the project, to say, hey, it's another Lord of the Rings, only this time it's a TV series, and it's the most expensive TV series of all time, so that's why you should click this show, and that's why you should watch it. But a lot of people are not very happy to hear that it's called the Lord of the Rings, because clearly that's just a marketing tactic for them. Like any Tolkien nerd worth their salt, Wood has his Middle-Earth 
chronology straight, as such, it's no surprise that he at the time told Empire, I find it very bizarre that they're calling it Lord of the Rings as a shorthand because it's not Lord of the Rings. It takes place in the second age of Middle-earth, and he even said that it was slightly misleading, naming a second age set tale the Lord of the Rings. Now, I truly find this hilarious because clearly he cares about Tolkien's work. He cares about Lord of the Rings. He cares about all of these absolutely amazing characters and stories. And I do think that they had a lot to go on with this new TV series. We know that unfortunately for them, they were missing a lot of the rights so they couldn't adapt specific books and storylines that were in said books. But they do still have quite a lot to work off of. But of course, we know that they're creating non-Tolkien characters to go in this Tolkien story. They're changing details about characters that are already established. Unfortunately, I have no faith in them to actually make this a good series at this point. But Elijah Wood isn't the only Lord of the Rings actor to come out and question the Rings of Power because this was back from May 19th, it says Lord of the Rings actor Viggo Mortensen questions what source material Amazon is using for the Rings of Power series. A lot of these actors are coming forward saying, hey, hopefully this will be great, but what source material are you guys using? What are you doing with this series? This article says the Lord of the Rings actor Viggo Mortensen, who plays Aragorn in the trilogy, beginning, of course, with the Fellowship of the Ring, recently questioned what source material Amazon was allowed to use for their upcoming The Rings of Power series. It says he was asked about the Rings of Power in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter while promoting his latest film, Crimes of the Future. When first asked about the show and if he planned on watching it, he replied, What is that? The TV thing? Is that with Apple or something? And I think that this is hilarious because we know that all of these Lord of the Rings actors have a group chat, okay? They have a chat room where they talk about different things because they're friends. You are not telling me that one of these other actors actors didn't put into that chat room, hey, did you guys see the new Rings of Power teaser? Did you guys hear about this interview? I feel like they have probably been talking about it because all of them really love and care about the Lord of the Rings. I feel like he probably knows more than he's letting on, but maybe he just didn't want to talk about it. Or hey, maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he knows that people are feeling very iffy over the rings of power, okay? People are not loving the interviews that showrunners and producers have given. Um, if you look at the official teaser trailer that came out back in February, it's got 117,000 likes to 1.6 million dislikes. Okay, maybe they know that there's controversy around it, so they don't really want to talk about it that much. But this response to me is hilarious. What is that? The TV thing? I'm sorry, I laughed so hard when I first saw this. It says THR's Alex Rittman would inform him that the show is being made by Amazon and is thought to be the most expensive TV series of all time. And he responded, oh right, yeah, I'll watch that. Of course he'll watch it because he's not a part of it. And he, I'm sure, wants to see if they're going to continue the Lord of the Rings name in a good way. If they're going to butcher these stories and these characters and throw out the source material like we already know they're going to do. But his response was pretty funny and we're seeing more and more Lord of the Rings actors come out now and make small statements on the Rings of Power. I think that as we're building up to the release of the Rings of Power, we're going to see more interviews like this. But right now, only these two have given short, very short, but statements uh, on the Rings of Power and in interviews. And if we go on over to the teaser trailer that is up on YouTube, it is still being disgustingly ratioed. So it says the Lord of the Rings Rings of Power teaser trailer on Prime Video. It's got 117,000 likes to 1.6 million dislikes. And you have to keep in mind that there were millions of dislikes magically removed from this video and comments as well. There was like 30,000 comments just deleted off of this video. It's sitting at 48,000 comments and a lot of them are the same. A lot of them are Tolkien quotes, 
which I think is hilarious and I absolutely love. But we know that there are a lot of comments and also dislikes missing from this teaser now. A lot of people are not sold on the idea of the Rings of Power and when it finally releases, I will watch it so that I can review it, so that I can talk about it with you guys. But for now, um, two actors have come forward and made statements on the Rings of Power and I bet that we're going to see many, many more as time goes on. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.